Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have little Athene with me and um, today I'm going to be talking about corn snakes um, and the different species of corn snakes you can get and explaining what they look like and showing you pictures of what they look like as well. Um, and just as a side note, there are actually 800 official species of corn snakes. But as I say, I'm just going to be doing my top 25. Um, so yeah, so without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with that. And thanks very much for watching. So the first uh, corn snake that I'm going to talk about is um, lavender is a lavender morph corn snake and uh, it says typically hatchlings are dark grey with purple patterning but then as they get older and become adults um, they normally brighten with age to have a pink base colour and lavender blotching and these are like one of my favourite um, morphs of corn snake I'd love to get one at some point so fingers crossed in the future <laughs> but yeah they're a beautiful a beautiful morph now, the second one is an oak tea and these morphs have a deep red or burnt orange dorsal blotches with black margins they also have yellow or orange lateral blotches on their bodies and their base colour is always a medium brown to deep orange. So basically Athene, she's um, a reverse oak tea, although I think she's got some other genetics in there as well. But she's the opposite of a normal oak tea. So where you can see these white bands on her, an oak tea has the black melanin, has the black sort of banding. On them and the third uh, morph is a snow morph and they are predominantly white um, but can have pale blotching and some may have pink or beige patterning well you've seen what my snow corn snake looks like uh, Cadassius you've seen him and the colors that he is now as an adult it was very pink when he was uh, small but now he's pretty much white with sort of beige bits on him. Okay, the uh, fourth one is um, Palmetto. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is another morph of corn snake that I would love to have in the future. And um, the description of that is, this morph um, is white with random red, orange and yellow scales speckled across their body. They also have jet black pupils surrounded by off-white or blue white irises so they've they've got a beautiful sort of color and random pattern and they've got beautiful eyes and they're cute as babies they're cute as adults they're just they're gorgeous the next one is a scaleless snake again another one i would love to have um and they have no scales on their body however they still have full or partial belly scutes i think that's how you pronounce it Otherwise, they would be unable to slither. So generally, when you do see a scaleless snake, it's not completely scaleless. As it says, they'll have scales generally on their tummy. So yeah, I don't know where this little girl is going. She's going somewhere. So the next one is Miami Phase. That's the name of it. And it says they have burnt orange blotches lined with black margins. Captive breeding has increased the contrast in this variety over time. So you can see some real striking ones, but there's, uh, you know, colour and pattern wise, but some of them are slightly duller or they look a bit sort of faded from what I've seen anyway. Okay, so the next one is Ghost. Uh, the ghost morph. They are normally a pale grey and have reddish brown dorsal blotches. Interestingly, halfway down their body, the colour and pattern inverses. Their base becomes reddish brown and their bodies become grey. So um, basically, think of a Sclepian myanery, but a very pale sort of version. Next one is Blizzard. And Blizzard morph um, are born completely white with red eyes. As they age, sometimes they may develop faint lemon-lined margins around their blotches. They may also develop yellow checker checkering on their bellies as well. So um, yeah, yet again, another one I'd love to have. Anyway, so the ninth one is blood red corn snake morph. 
Uh, the blood red corn snake morph is vibrant red and does not normally have patterning. Red morphs have completely white bellies. Because corn snakes are known for their belly patterns, the absence of any pattern makes them desirable to breeders. Okay, so the tenth one is sun kissed. Sunkist morphs have a dark reddish orange colour with deep red dorsal and lateral blotches. Their pattern causes lateral blotches to form dense squarish shapes rather than small even blotches. Their head has a distinct masquerade mask shaped pattern of orange, sorry, of dark red orange on a lighter orange base. So they're really pretty as well. I love the orange snakes, obviously, so. <laughs> Next one is Candy Cane. And um, it says, as hatchlings, these snakes have a white base color with vibrant red dorsal and lateral blotches. The high contrast of red and white is what gives the Candy Cane its name. So that, as I say, they are really, really striking and they're stunning. I, yeah, again, would love one of them. <laughs> As they age, the snake's colour may either fade or develop an orange coloration around the neck. So, um, so yeah, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the twelfth one is caramel, and caramels tend to have a yellow brown base their dorsal and lateral blotches can be caramel, light brown or rich chocolate. So um, I think Apollonia my butterstripe corn snake i think um her mother or father one of the two was a caramel something or other um so that probably contributed to her being that sort of yellowy color the 13th one is cremsicle cremsicles normally have more yellow and less red they have a yellow base with dark yellow blotches and thin margins and they also have red eyes obviously because they're albinos so. okay the 14th one is a classic wild type corn snake the normal corn snake typically has reddish brown blotches on a light brown or grey base. The only variation is the Carolina species that has vibrant oranges and reds. So there's kind of two uh, different types of wild type corn snake depending where they are in America. Okay, so 15th one is coral snow. So a coral snow morph has a light pink colour with peachy or orange blotching. They sometimes have light pink or white margins and yellow along the sides of their bodies. Their bellies are normally white with a pale or faded markings, unlike the high contrast checkers in most corn snake morphs. So yeah, again, it's think of Cadassius, he's a snow morph, but um, a coral snow has more pink pretty much. It's, it's a more brighter, vibrant, pinky color. Okay, so the 16th one is butter. Selective breeding has produced a bright yellow snake with red eyes. The yellow base is typically lighter than their blotches and their pattern is fairly similar to a wild pattern. So um, with Apollonia, as you know, she's a butter stripe and yeah, she's stripy and she's got a lovely, brilliant white tummy. <laughs> so that's one of my favourite morphs as well. 17th one is Amelanistic. I'm going to put that word up on the screen because I can never say it. Amelanistic. <laughs> Every Amelanistic snake lacks the brown and black pigments found in melanin. These snakes are very low contrast and even have red eyes. Compared to the red albino, this corn snake has more yellows and oranges. So this little girl here, as I say, she's an, I just normally say Amel, but it's Amel and Istic, and I have trouble saying that. But yeah, she's one of those. But I think um, either her mother or father was um, a reverse Okati as well. So, okay, so Tessera, another favorite. Tesseras normally have one thin, dark edged dorsal stripe and dense square lateral blotches. So that's, you know, their patterning. They have a normal generic, what you see on the corn snake sort of patterning on top and then round the sides, it's, you know, very, 
very sort of like it says checkered and and sort of this almost it reminds me of like Aztec kind of patterns but um but yeah Tessera that's another one I'd love to have as well so <laughs> 19 reverse ochre tea the reverse ochre tea is also known as an albino ochre tea like I said previously about the normal ochre tea these snakes usually have a peach base with red orange blotches that are surrounded by a thick white margin their pattern is identical to the standard ochre tea just without melanin pigment pigments <laughs> okay, i'll say it right <laughs> i don't know what she's doing she's the sun's coming round as well so i'm like trying to edge me way but yeah so okay right so number 20 is opal hatchling opals are a light pink color with peach blotches and white margins they have bright red pupils with pink irises, similar to the pink variety. And with adult, they turn almost white and a faint yellow patterning that is barely visible. Their eyes become burgundy too. So. Number 21 is pewter. Pewters are normally a silver lavender color with faint blotching that fades with age and a pewter, um, as I'm gonna show up with the picture, it's stunning, absolutely stunning really such a beautiful snake and yet again i would love to have one so <laughs> 22 uh, is a crimson morph corn snake they have a light base and a dark reddish orange blotching these snakes have a high color contrast with a dazzling crimson red scheme so, yes there we go lovely lovely colors 23 is peppermint stripe which um, i hadn't actually heard of before but very interesting Peppermint stripes are normally a dark pink with a faint pink striping along their body. Adults can fade to a speckled pink. They have red pupils with pink irises and a clean white belly. Young peppermints tend to have cloud-like fading on their heads that intensifies to a pale pink with age. So uh, yeah, yet again, I'll show a picture of one of them and they are gorgeous, really, really lovely. Um, and another one to go on the list. Okay, number 24, last two. Um, oh, another one I can't say. I normally just say Annery. So, uh, Annery Thristic A. Someone will tell me how to pronounce that properly. But yes, so basically like a Sclepian, he is an Annery. They lack red, orange and yellow pigmentation and their body coloration is a pale grey with dark grey blotching and black margins. As adults they can develop a yellow colouring around their throat and neck which is exactly what's happened to both Asclepian and uh, Cadassius. They've both got that sort of yellowing on them now. So the last and final one is number 25 and that is a blood red hired sided uh, morph corn snake. These snakes are deep red with some faint patterning and a white belly, like standard blood reds. The main difference is that the white trickles up the sides of the belly and across the lateral portion of the snake. So another beautiful, vibrant red snake. And I would love to own all of these corn snakes. They're gorgeous, but you never know what the future holds. Um, I would like some different species of snake at some point, but we'll just uh, we'll just see what happens. But uh, anyway, so that's my top 25 corn snakes. I hope you enjoyed that, um, and let me know what your top uh, corn snakes or just top snakes in general are that you would love to own. Um, I'd love to hear you know what you've got to say about it. But anyway, so yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe please hit the bell notification. You'll get uh, notifications of all my latest videos. How many times can I say notification? Um, and if you have any comments or questions, then please pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. So from myself and Athene, it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. It's crazy girl. <laughs>